What's up? So, just getting a little filler content, I suppose. Driving home from work. And, of course, as always, saw some mushrooms growing on a tree. So, on the side of the road. So, I'm like, yep, better go check it out. Um, actually, along the same highway as the highway robbery episode. So, uh, you know, let's see what we have today. I mean, I don't know if I just missed these last time. I don't think I actually came up this far in that episode, but, um, yeah, let's see what we got. So, yeah, spotted this one, and there's another one around here somewhere, but, um, you know, just a tree, it's got some, some fungi rotting it away. Um, yeah, looking, uh, looking like Daedalopsis. For sure, for sure. So, uh, I mean, Daedalopsis confragosa, I believe, so. So, actually, there was a, if you could see here, Mr. Snake. There was another one that just slithered her away. This guy's not too afraid of me, huh? Look at him. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Touched his uh, his little butt there, and he slithers away underneath there. Pretty cool, guys. Pretty cool. Okay, and for some repetition, the birch polypore is back in this episode. Amazing. Pretty dead. Oh man. Um, I don't know. I think I'm gonna try just to collect some. Maybe make a tea out of it this time. I don't know, it's still, it's not very super fresh, but I'll see. I'm gonna really look into it. See if it's birch polypore, fomotops, fomatopsis betulina or something. I think that's how it is. I think that's how you say it. Yep, pretty cool. What's up, Tristan from Hippies for Humanity. We're gonna make some tea. Bang, bang. Birch polypore. Not that fresh. But I don't care. So I'm gonna cut, get this, get the uh, pores surface out of here. And slice up the mushroom as such. Clean it up. And then we're gonna throw it into this water. And we are going to heat it up slowly, slowly, slowly until the mushroom is like getting darker. That's, that's what I was told in a video. Um, heard this mushroom tea kind of tastes pretty bad, but uh, we're gonna maybe sweeten it with some tea, uh, lemon or honey or whatever I got. got. A little bit of lemon juice in there, so yeah. We'll see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, I separated the uh, the pores from the uh, rest of the mushroom here. I'm just gonna kind of slice this guy up, wash it off in some water. All right, so just uh, you know, rinsing it off here, rinsing off our cut up birch polypore, Fomatopsis betulina, 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 betulina. I don't know how to say it, but. That's how it's spelled. Hmm. All right, here we go. Got them all nice and cleaned up. All right, all in about that much water. Um, you know, and you're just gonna turn it on to, you know, here's low, here's medium. And, uh, yeah, we'll just let these things uh, heat up. See where we go from there. 20 minute update. Not getting dark enough yet, but we're getting there. A rolling boil going. Probably just gonna take them out and s s 
sweeten it and drink it. Let's go. Alright, so we got all the uh, mushroom pieces out of there. That's what the tea looks like. I got some in my cup here. I'm going to sweeten it. With a little bit of honey. And maybe just a touch of this lemon juice here. So, let's see what we can do. Alright. Take a little sip of my piping hot birch polypore tea with honey and lemon. Doesn't taste too bad with the honey and lemon. Right on. I could I could feel it strengthening my body already. Wow. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. Give me a like, a comment, a subscription. Check out my Patreon in the description below. It's been Tristan from Hippies for Humanity. Catch you next time.